We are living undoubtedly a very serious moment in the history of Mexico and the history of the border. Press freedom is at stake. Repression against journalists has increased dramatically over the years to the degree that journalists are fleeing Mexico, seeking either asylum or exile, not knowing what to do. As a result of the experience of Emilio Gutierrez Soto, who came to the border seeking asylum, was locked up like a common criminal for seven months, we decided to form an organization of journalists, for journalists, in the hopes of educating them and providing legal assistance for those who are fleeing Mexico, knowing what to do and how to do it, and also as a way of put, putting pressure on the Mexican government by providing assistance and hopefully continued life to those who are fleeing persecution in Mexico. The organization is called Pemex, Periodistas Mexicanos en el Exilio. And our role is to work with Mexican human rights organizations in Juarez. Gustavo de la Rosa Hickerson is a leading human rights uh, expert and advocate over the years in Juarez. And he has also, he's also in the process of developing a special project for journalists with the Commission of Human Rights in Chihuahua. Jorge Luis Gutierrez, I mean Jorge Luis uh, Aguirre is also seeking asylum. We have found it necessary to take these drastic measures because of the increased violence by the military against its people and primarily against Journalist. Our stake as American citizens in this is the fact that if a free press is diminished or silenced in Mexico, then the hopes for democracy um, of, for our neighbors is is dwindling just as fast. En este nuevo, con este nuevo gobierno, tengo confianza en que en que se van a dar garantías que están consagradas en en acuerdos internacionales como lo es el asilo político. Nonetheless, I feel that there may be light at the end of the tunnel under this new administration that seems to respect uh, international agreements relating to uh, re asylum and refugee law. En el último mes hemos visto que el ejército, la policía, los políticos han empezado a presionar muy fuerte en contra de algunos periodistas que todavía este, seguían tratando de ejercer su, su profesión con más o menos uh, libertad. And in the last month we've seen increased pressure by the government, the military and certain politicians to, uh, to attack those journalists who continue to exercise some modicum of, of honesty and truth in their reporting.